All right, today here, I just want to go a little bit over what I looked at today in the market, do kind of like a trading vlog, if you will. Um, just want to document for my own purposes and for anybody who's watching just uh, into what I do, um, whether that's going to be valuable or not, I don't know. But uh, really, my goal is to just see where this goes. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in today, talk about a little bit of my thoughts going through the market today. So today is Friday, February 23rd. And um, yeah, we'll go ahead and dive in, show you what I'm looking at, um, thought process, et cetera. And, you know, we'll evolve from here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll dive into my chart right now. Just to give you an idea of what I'm looking at uh, today. So one of the things I typically first start off with is the total crypto market. And I'm just showing this on a daily time frame. And uh, just kind of noting the day here, the day is a negative day. Um, one thing I know or have kind of thought of in particular is when it comes to Fridays. So Fridays, often what I've found in the crypto space or, or in, in most markets in general, is Fridays are typically bearish days. Um, and, you know, of course, there are bullish days, and maybe I could be wrong, but I've noticed that they've been typically bullish days. I'm sorry, bearish days. So why is that? And I think the rationale is at the end of the week, um, a lot of traders, they, they take profit. So depending on the type of trader that you are, um, you know, some traders really like to get out at the end of the week and uh, make sure that they don't have any positions um, open over the weekend because when Monday comes, there's a lot of volatility where, um, you know, the market decides to basically find its footing, um, if you will. So um, that's why I've noticed that Fridays are generally kind of sell-off days. Sometimes they are bullish, but I think that rationale kind of holds. There has to be something particularly bullish for that little bit of sell-off in the market to um, not happen. Also, it's a low volatility day sometimes. A lot of Wall Street, um, they they take off early on Fridays and get to the weekend. So a lot of the volatility really gets low at the second half of the day. So these are just my observations. Um, whether they're facts, um, I have no idea, but these are my observations so far. So explore for yourself. All right, so let's dive in. Um, I, I was assuming there's gonna be some sort of a, a negative day today. So a little hesitant on getting into positions and um, I have had some alerts this morning and um, they've been rough, although I've caught one that was uh, pretty awesome in particular, and that is Uniswap. So let's go ahead and check that out. So typically on a bearish day, like I'm talking about is uh, I'm not necessarily, and I'm a long only trader as of now. So I'm really looking for buys in the market. I trade typically the spot market. So um, on a bearish day, I'm, I'm kind of going to be hesitant about long positions, but if they're looking good, um, I, I try to take them and, and just manage my risk accordingly. So let's go dive into my other chart here, give you guys an idea. So one of the alerts I got this morning was Uniswap. Um, and you, you can see here Uniswap went up um, from my entry point about 40%, but from you know, the bottom of the candle today, the open of the day, Uniswap went up about 70%. So that's pretty substantial. Um, so I got my alert and, you know, decided to figure out where my, my entry was, where my exit was. Uh, for me, uh, the, the stop loss, since it was a bearish day, I, I wanted to give it enough room. So it really was kind of the low of that candle that took off. And uh, entry was was kind of at the break of these last highs here. Let me just clean this up. So you can see the market tested this area. This is an area where the market sold off very aggressively. Then the market tested this for Uniswap and then that pushed the market down to um, its relative lows before this breakout. So I was basically assuming that if the market was gonna start to 
push above this major sell point, that might be an aggressive entry point um, where the market is going to start to bid up pretty aggressively. And it did. Um, and the whole, I thought the rest of the market was going to go up, you know, just kind of hazy being awake in the morning, seeing, you know, a coin, a major coin, Uniswap. It's a, what is it? It's a top coin here. Let's see what rank it is. Let me adjust my screen for us. Sorry about that. Okay, that's about as good as I can get it. Okay, um, Uniswap is, let's see, rank number 16. So one of the biggest gainers for the day, it's a top coin. And that really made me start to think that the whole market was just gonna be a bullish day. So I got really excited and uh, that really wasn't the case. It was specifically Uniswap. So given that, I started looking for other trades today. Um, the thing I did with Uniswap, I put my trailing stop loss at break even. So that one is uh, risk free and good to go. Let's see what else I was dabbling in. So I was seeing Sushi Swap um, pull up as well. I kind of thought it was maybe like a decentralized exchange day. So I was thinking to look for the narrative. So let's look at Sushi. So Sushi, and it is, it is actually kind of pushing up here a little bit. You can see Sushi rallying a little bit. I was in Sushi earlier today, but I decided to get out. Um, it just didn't look as strong. And I found out it was is really a Uniswap specific thing. If we go back to um, my browser here, if I can show it. Okay, if I go to my browser, there actually was something that happened today with Uniswap. So Uniswap's price gains 50% after fee sharing governance proposal. So let's see here. Uni went 50% uh, plus on a run after a proposal from the Uniswap Foundation suggested rewarding Uni holders who have staked or delegated their tokens. So um, it looks like maybe this is the case why Uniswap ran, um, that there is a potential new reward structure coming for um, those who stake Uniswap. So more of a fundamental thing. I thought it was a more systematic thing, which uh, kind of threw me off today. Okay, let's go into a few other things here. Let's go back into the chart. All right, so I, I decided to get in Sushi a little bit. It wasn't running anywhere close to how Uniswap is running. You see Uniswap pushing up a lot harder. Uh, my goal with Uniswap is to hopefully touch this $13 mark. I haven't taken any profits or anything like that for Uniswap. I want to wait until that $13 mark. Hopefully I don't get too greedy with this. Um, I want it to be hit so that I can at least uh, pay myself a little bit on that uh, trade. Cool thing as well, uh, I teach students um, as well in uh, how to trade or at least teach them the way I trade. And we marked this up the other day and somebody messaged me on uh, Instagram and said, you know, like, uh, wow, look at this because it was a, a pretty aggressive move. So it was pretty cool to see uh, somebody, you know, benefit from, you know, one of these markups. Okay, let's see what else I was getting to. So Flare, Flare has been flaring up. I think there was some fundamental news with Flare. Uh, I wanted to get into Flare, kind of breaking these highs here. It's kind of looking you know, at these prior highs. Wanted to get in, totally missed it. Uh, I, these things happened when I was sleeping, so it happened either in Tokyo or London session. I'm here in Las Vegas. So what I'm trying to do is a little bit of FOMO here, and uh, I'm not sure if it's going to pay off. So the market already broke out um, of the zone I wanted to trade. Uh, that would have been the ideal entry, but um, I'm trying to go on a smaller time frame and get in uh, to see if I can you know, FOMO catch it. Probably a bad idea, but so far so good. The day just closed, so we'll see how this reacts. Um, I'm hoping I can just see this thing run. Um, I think there's some fundamental news for Uniswap, um, but we'll, I'm sorry, not Uniswap, a flare. I forgot what it was though. Let's see. 
actually just deleted my other pane here. My bad. Let's see. What I can do. Sorry, I'm new to all this stuff a little bit. Let's add another screen capture. Okay, here we go. All right. Let's bring this up. All right, good. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's go ahead and look. Um, just type in flare. See if we can find something that happened. So here we go. Eight hours ago. So Flare's earliest investors have reinvested into the long-term future of the network in a groundbreaking new agreement. In addition to extending token vesting and capping sales, they will reinvest 50% of any token sales back into the Flare ecosystem. So it looks like there's going to be some reinvestment of token sales back into the network. So that's bullish uh, fundamentally as well. So uh, that's really why I think we're seeing on the bubbles chart here, flare, flaring up, no pun intended, and Uniswap. Not much else. So tough day uh, overall, but you know, there, even in a bad day, there's some, some good potential moves, which is why I like trading multiple um, coins. Okay, back to Flare. Uh, I'm just gonna see how this pans out. It's now the weekend, so um, one of the things that I like about weekends, kind of taking that whole Friday uh, observation a little bit further, is a lot of times when we do see that end of the week selling, you know, people getting out of positions, crypto is unique that it is 24 seven. So the weekends are for crypto, some people say. So um, this could mean that we see now that the big institutions are closed, retail investors are often a little more bullish on crypto. So often the weekends, at least in my observation, are generally somewhat more bullish than bearish. And often when I see a bearish weekend, that's like a major red flag, at least for me. Because like I said, it's mainly retail traders and retail, if you're trading crypto, usually I would assume you're more of a you know, for crypto, long bias, you want to see it go to the moon, you're not necessarily shorting it. And if we see retail really shorting crypto, then I am worried about, um, you know, the market overall. And uh, the second thing is, if on the weekend, there's a huge gain, you know, major institutions are closed, and, and they are trading crypto now. Um, when that, 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 that weekend ends and the market opens, I found that a lot of that move is erased because this is just my speculation that the bigger institutions want to get their fills. So um, just be, I, I always tell my students, just be a little aware of that. You know, Friday being somewhat of a sell-off day, um, the weekend being generally a little bit of a bullish weekend. But if it's too bullish on Monday, a lot of that, that move will get erased. So a little thoughts there. Okay, market's pulling down just a little bit for flare. That's totally okay. We'll, we'll wait. If it looks terrible, I'll get out. Um, something that I got into yesterday was a pretty interesting one, and that's uh, OGN, Origin Trail. This is kind of like a really longer term position I'm looking for, but uh, just noticing a big cup formation in the chart and decided to just buy this, um, you know, coming above this last probe here. And uh, doing pretty well, not doing anything crazy, but um, I like to put these take profit levels on there. So hit my first take profit level, I moved my stop to break even, and it seems to really have some heat in this market compared to um, a lot of other positions right now, which is interesting. Something's going on with, um, uh, did I say OGN? I'm sorry, Origin Trail Track. Sorry if I, I uh, messed that up. So um, let's see here. What, uh, what was I going to say about that? Forgot. Okay, let's keep going down, <laughs> down the line. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get better at this stuff. Um, see what else I was looking at today. Let's go to my alerts. All right, another one that was bubbling up pretty hot, hot this morning was Krill. 
Oh yeah, this is what I was going to say. Uh, I'll tell you after this. Um, Krill was pushing up, but really sold off hard at the end of the day. I got in probably right around where it's at right now, but moved my alert a little bit higher. Um, just looks like a better spot for me seeing some major sellers over here. Same sort of probe. It's actually a very similar chart to um, uh, that track trade I just showed. Um, but what I was saying now I forgot again. See, and maybe I should just say it right away. <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's see what else I'm I'm looking for here. All right. Everything is still pretty bearish right now on my list, so nothing too exciting. Um, the only thing that has been getting to me is I've been missing some positions. Um, just because they either come at pretty much because they're coming at where, when I'm sleeping and I don't like to get into trades um, when I'm sleeping. Uh, for example, PNG, I was looking at PNG yesterday. So yeah, there it is. Um, <laughs> sucks. But this went up 200 percent. Um, I was trying to get in and uh, it, the market just wouldn't come down. It came down really close to my entry and I just got too greedy and didn't get in and pushed up. So that was pretty upsetting. And I forgot a few more have just taken off on me um, overnight. I think Ando was another one. Yeah, another one that just totally took off on me. I was trying to get in at this blue line and uh, pushed up. Maybe it'll come back down, but uh, pretty frustrating when I, when I have, you know, the right setups. I'm waiting for them to happen, but then they they trigger while I am asleep. Okay, let's see anything else. Um, overall, that's kind of what I'm dealing with this uh, coming into the weekend here. And uh, my whole hope is that this weekend turns bullish and the market kind of continues. If we look at just say Bitcoin right now, um, Bitcoin is selling off here into its next little bullish order block. Maybe on the four hour, it's a little easier to see. Um, but you can see here, this is where the market really started to push up from. And I could see the market coming back down to where this accumulation um, was. So I think there's going to be a little bit more selling. I think Bitcoin's kind of leading the sell off right now. If we look at Ethereum, Ethereum's kind of there. You know, it's kind of at its area where, where it should be taking off again from, um, but we'll have to wait and see. So, uh, yeah, so that's really all I wanted to go over today. Uh, if you kind of like this stuff, let me know and I can do more of this uh, kind of market recap stuff. If you thought that was interesting and want to see more of what I'm doing inside the market, uh, definitely let me know in the comments. And uh, this was the first one, so uh, hopefully it wasn't too choppy and and uh, you know wild. But you know, as we get into the flow here, as I get your guys' feedback, you know what you want to see more of, see less of. Um, let me know, and uh, we can take it from there. So uh, yeah, just wanted to hop on quick uh, right before Friday in the weekend here. Oh, look at that Uniswap pushing up a little bit more. Hopefully, I can hit that um, target today. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this maybe stirs some questions. And uh, I'll, if you guys like this, I'll stream more and uh, show you guys more of, of what I do. So I appreciate you guys and I'll see you on the next video.